Wednesday and welcome today to our daily prayers. More from that wonderful hymn, I Cannot Tell. Talking of Jesus on the cross. I cannot tell how silently he suffered, as with his peace he graced this place of tears, or how his heart upon the cross was broken, the crown of pain to three and thirty years. Just reminds me of that prophecy in Isaiah 53, like a sheep before its shearers is silent. He allowed this to happen to him, so great was his love. I cannot tell how silently he suffered. What a God we have to worship. And so we come to him now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So Luke 9 at verse or the second half of verse 43. While everyone was marvelling at all that Jesus did, he said to his disciples, Listen carefully to what I am about to tell you. The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. But they did not understand what this meant. It was hidden from them, so that they could not grasp it, and they were afraid to ask him about it. One speaker I heard who was talking about this passage talked about the fact that the disciples were doing, trying to put together the pieces of a jigsaw, but they had the wrong picture in mind of what they were trying to form. And so, as it were, the pieces didn't fit. Some of the pieces would have been Jesus's glory, Jesus's power, Jesus's teaching, but also of his predicted suffering. How did all these pieces fit together? They couldn't quite understand it. Obviously, as time goes on, and certainly come the resurrection, suddenly the picture becomes straight in their minds. But I wonder for us too, do we have a picture of what God is like, which is maybe not completely reflecting what we learn from the Bible? A God who we believe is good, but somehow is a bit like a Father Christmas, just giving us everything we want not a God who we come to worship and who sends us out to proclaim his love to others. I wonder, you might want to reflect for a moment, what is the God you have a picture of and how does that compare to the God of the Bible, the one who gave his life for us? A time to reflect and to pray today. And so is the one who gave his very life for us, the one who suffered silently. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and for evermore. Amen.